Hello everyone, nerds all over the internet. I'm Jose Casabona and welcome to a new mini show on this channel that's called The Pit Stop. This is unlike any of the other shows here on this channel. These are short videos where we focus on one news topic uh, within the wor world of geek culture, pop culture, nerd culture, and everything in between. Be sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our media content and leave your question uh, and leave your opinions down below on uh, on what you think of uh, this developing story and of course don't be a jerk on the comment in the comment section. So, um, last on last night's edition of WWE's Raw, uh, there was uh, it was a, a WWE had previously announced that there was that the main event was going to feature a six pack challenge uh, a match where the winner will earn an opportunity to challenge Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship at this at the annual at their annual pay per view event Hell in a Cell which features the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Naomi and Sasha Banks, Asuka, Becky Lynch, Dewdrop, and Nikki A.S.H. However, plans have unfortunately changed, and there are details as to why. Now, this was first. Uh, now, this new, uh, piece of news was first broken out by Sean Ross Sapp from Fightful, and then later elaborated on and uh, and uh, updated by Mike Johnson from PW Insider, and um, the uh, where he provided the first update on the situation here, um, where the headline reads: Raw Raw main event changed after talents walking out of the taping. Uh, the main event for tonight's Monday Night Raw broadcast changed at the last minute to a one-on-one -on -one match of Becky Lynch versus Asuka after two talents walked out uh, uh, walked out late in the day as Raw went on the air in Norfolk, Virginia. The word making the rounds backstage at the taping is that Sasha Banks took issue with some of the planned creative for the original main event, a Raw six-pack challenge to determine Bianca Belair's next challenger. Banks had a meeting with Vince McMahon and the briefing uh, and, and, and the belief among those we've heard from is that when Vince didn't choose to change direction on the plans, Banks would have backed down, or wouldn't back down on her issues, and made the decision to leave the taping. Naomi, her w, her tag team championship partner, left with Banks, even though she was also booked in the main event match. WWE quickly shot several new segments with Adam Pearce and Becky Lynch to instead set up Asuka versus Lynch as the new main event. Now, as I mentioned earlier, last night it was a developing story, and Mike Johnson provided more updates on the matter. Now, um, and, and now. Now, the original plan for the main event was Raw, yep, uh, basically this, uh, repeating the same thing as uh, the last article. It adds a weird twist to the fact that Sasha Banks and Naomi walked out early in the taping. Um, they have been told that Banks had a meeting with Vince due to her unhappiness with the plan created for the match. When Vince chose not to change plans for tonight's main event, Banks made the decision to exit the taping. So, um, uh, which uh, uh, that leaves a very interesting and important question. If Naomi was booked to go over... Why did she choose to leave the taping with Banks? And as of this writing, they have not uh, they have not confirmed any uh, they have not confirmed any more details on that matter. So, the original finish for the main event for Monday Night Raw uh, uh, seems to be that Naomi was supposed to win the match and she was supposed to go over and challenge Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Title at Hell in a Cell. So, and, and, and it looks like Sasha Banks wasn't very pleased with the creative direction. Now, of course, <laughs> WWE, they are known for their subtlety and lack thereof. Uh, Mike Johnson provided another update on what happened uh, uh, when Raw went live on the air last night, where one of WWE's color commentators for Raw, Corey Graves, just referenced Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out on tonight's Raw taping, describing them as having unprofessionally left in the arena. That should probably be seen as a sign that Vince McMahon isn't happy with the situation as nothing would have been said that they uh, had the announcers had uh, not been instructed to do so. That was WWE's first response to Bank and Naomi not working tonight's taping as planned. Earlier in the show, Becky Lynch made reference to Naomi and Banks having walked out with their gear. Um, a, a, a PW Insider reached out for WWE earlier for the comments uh, on the situation. They haven't heard back yet. So, yeah, and this is not the first time that WWE has taken jabs at wrestlers who worked for the cup, who worked uh, or who worked or currently working for the company um, uh, for their own for their own uh, for their own petty reasons. However, since the developments, WWE has then finally given us their official statement. Now, mind you, this is their official statement, so take it for what it's worth. And I quote. 
When Sasha Banks and Naomi arrived at the arena this, this afternoon, they were informed of their participation in the main event of tonight's Monday Night Raw. During the broadcast, they walked into WWE Heads of Talent Relations, John Laronitis' office with their suitcase in hand, placed their tag team championship belts on his desk, and walked out. They claimed they weren't respected enough as tag team champions, and even though they had eight hours to rehearse and construct their match, they claimed they were uncomfortable in the ring with two of their opponents, even though they'd had matches with those individuals in the past with no consequence. Monday Night Raw is a scripted live TV show whose characters are expected to perform the requirements of their, con of their contract. We regret we were unable to deliver as advertised tonight's main event. Okay, so where do I begin with this? Uh, this where do I begin with this uh, with with this statement here for the WWE? Uh, first of all, um, First of all, like I said, it's no surprise that WWE has taken the petty route in burying their talent on the air uh, in, in situations where uh, the talent refused to do, uh, refused to work certain certain matches on the card. But, and this does not paint the WWE in a very good light. Now, mind you. The main event between Becky Lynch versus Asuka, from what I've seen, was actually one hell of a main event. I mean, both of them are high-level, uh, high-profile uh, women's wrestlers in the WWE. But even taking that into consideration, this whole situation with Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out and the circumstances being revealed cast a huge shadow over the main event, uh, over the uh, over the main uh, over the main event as it is. Now. Sasha Banks, um, this is not her first time um, actually, you know, standing up for her, standing, standing her ground in terms of her, in terms of uh, creative differences with Vince McMahon. Um, she and uh, Bailey actually had walked out on the company after WrestleMania 35 in 2019 after dropping the women's tag team titles to, at the, at the time, the Iconics, uh, after voicing creative frustrations with their, uh, with, uh, with their direction as a tag team. And it looks like we might, and, and it looks like uh, once again, you know, these same issues are coming back up, and it uh, uh, for for uh, under different circumstances. However, I do want to reference back to an earlier question from what I've read from what from what Mike Johnson has detailed in the, in these articles on PW Insider. Apparently, the the uh, the arranged finish was that Naomi was supposed to go over as the number one contender. So this leads to a good question. Why did she walk out as well? And honestly, my thinking, she probably shares the same she she very very likely shares the same views as Sasha Banks does in terms of how they're being booked in the WWE. Now, <laughs> and this and I'm not I'm, look, I'm not going to pretend that other promotions uh, uh was safe for Impact Wrestling are doing a great job with their women's division, okay? AEW All Elite Wrestling has their own problems. But the WWE, it seems like even though they're trying to push for their women's revolution, they keep dropping the ball and this is another and this is another uh, black eye in their in their reputation for the women's division. Now that being uh, that being said, um, this is this news is still fresh. I'm going to keep my ears to the ground as this uh, story develops um, later this week. And uh, for, uh, but for now, I want to thank all of you for tuning in. I'm Jose Casabona. This has been another edition of the Pit Stop, and I am out.